Welcome back to the Edmonds School District Automotive Training Center. This is Hot Rod High School. In today's episode, we are going to be using an OTC battery tester to analyze the condition of this battery. Uh, this is just a really quick test that's no way a definitive test on the condition of the battery, but this is the test that I would perform on basically every car that comes into the shop. So every car that comes into the shop, whether it's for an oil change or a tire repair um, or an alignment or anything, we always do this multi-point vehicle inspection on those uh, uh, vehicles. We do that for free as a check for the customer just to tell them what condition their vehicle is in and what may have changed since the last time they were in the shop. Uh, you'll see in the battery conditions section of our multi-point vehicle inspection, that uh, when it comes to the battery test, it's really simple. It's either a good battery or it's a battery that needs to be replaced. And like I said, if, uh, if they came in concerned about a battery issue, we would do a more in-depth uh, test on that battery to see exactly what was wrong. But if you just want the quick one so that you can put it down on your sheet, this is the tool to use. Okay, getting started. In order to use this tool, we are going to take and hook it up with the black wire going to the battery post that has the little negative symbol on it. And the red wire is going to go to the battery post that has the positive symbol on it. Once that's hooked up, the battery tester is going to start displaying and it's just gonna show us the cold cranking amp rating on the last battery that we tested. So if we take a look at the label on the top of this battery, it gives us some battery information there. And the main one that we're looking for there is this cold cranking amp number. So it's telling me that we have a cold cranking amp rating on this battery of 675. So that's what we need to input to our tester in order to test this battery. In order to input our cold cranking amp rating into the tester, we already have a cold cranking amp rating displayed. This one's 615. That is not the correct number of cold cranking amps for this battery. So I'm gonna use the directional arrows here to increase that number until it reads 675 and we just have these directional arrows and just take and push on the directional arrows until the correct number is reading. Now we can do the test. So if we were doing a cold test, if we, if we were outside, if it was really cold outside, you know, near freezing, we use this cold test button. But because we're in a nice warm heated shop, we can just go ahead and hit this button here that says test. And we wait for a second and then it tells us very simply, does this battery pass or fail the test? And it says pass. And honestly, at that point, you could then just record down that this is a good battery and move on if you're just doing your quick multi-point vehicle inspection. But this meter will display a little bit more information for us about the condition of this battery. So if I hit any button, it will continue. So I'll hit that cold test button now. Doesn't really matter. And now it displays the available battery voltage or the battery open circuit voltage. And so now we can record down what the battery voltage is for this particular battery. Now, once again, hit any button to continue and it will tell us the actual number of available cold cranking amps in this battery. So it's rated at 675. It currently has 600 cold cranking amps. But yeah, based on this information, I can go through and say that this battery is in good condition and I can continue with my multi-point vehicle inspection. 